Thank you very much. <clears throat> It's great to have Welcome our little back. audience over there, isn't, isn't it? Don't, don't I always enjoy it. having a, a nice audience in the studio. That's a lot of fun. Uh, Huntley, it was snowing this morning. Oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> and uh, Huntley uh, rushed out of the house. He didn't have time to get dressed <laughs> and uh, just came in his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> no shoes either. No shoes. No shoes. No shoes. Oh, oh, man, I tell you. Huntley, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, uh, this is my martial arts outfit, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, we have, uh, we, we've been talking about this in the program today. Yeah. And a lot of people probably didn't know that this, you know, this <laughs> mild-mannered, wonderful Piano pianist player, on yeah. the Among Friends program is also a martial arts expert a black belt what do you what do you have a, is it the black black belt uh -huh. now that's black belt. And when you get to the black belt you don't get any more belts you just go degrees higher that's right? exactly right uh-huh yeah hmm. what, what got you into that Huntley? well what? you know um i started back in jamaica when i was a little boy i got very interested in it um my parents were against it because they didn't understand i mean many parents say well, that's what it, shirley asked right, right. I was wondering if you know yeah i was going to explain that you know with the martial arts just like anything else you have the good and you have the bad Sure. And um, just like with music, books, or mo movies, yeah. it's the same thing. And you know, the, the scripture tells us, whatsoever you do, whether in word or deed, do all for the glory of God. And uh, the martial arts are, you know, good tools, basically. So you, you don't deal with the religion? Right. Oh, religion. no, 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 no. Is that you, Huntley? Yeah, that was on my black belt test quite a few years ago. That's you, Huntley? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> You're kicking a board in two? <laughs> that's right. Have I... Have I uh, said anything to offend you. I, 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 I uh, look at this guy. What is, are oh you my. kicking a car? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. I was at Northern Illinois yeah. University. <laughs> oh, really? That's a whole nother Huntley Brown. That we. Wow. You see, Jerry, I'm here to protect you. I'm your bodyguard. All right. I know the Lord is going to protect you, but the Lord sent me also. <laughs> now, Huntley, I, I know you do this you, in competition and whatever. Have you right. ever actually used it to defend yourself? Have you ever had a chance Not to use really. it? Not really. I would say one time in Jamaica, um, quite a few years ago, it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, I came back in, and um, some guys kind of jumped from the shadows. Um, okay. Fortunately, afterwards, I recognized them, but during this struggle, um, I took out the first one. And oh, the, really? the second one I was going to take out, and I recognized them. Were they friends? Uh, well, they were just up to some pranks or something. I don't know what they were up to. <laughs> but they learned a very important time. lesson. <laughs> they, they better identify themselves That's next right. time, right? <laughs> well, if I ever walk up behind you, I'll say, Huntley, it's, it's me. me. <laughs> Everything is okay. It is a... Uh, 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 there's more and more. In fact, Jim Nichols on the yeah, staff here right. uh, has had a black belt and uh -huh. is now, in fact, is going back through certification. Mm -hmm. Right. And I mentioned a pastor earlier that does. Uh, we're going to take a look. A couple of weeks ago, yeah. uh, in the Chicago area, there was a tournament it, uh, by Christians involved yeah. in the martial arts. And we're going to take a look at that, and then we're going to introduce an instructor to the program. Right. And in a few minutes, we're going to have a demonstration. Not on me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at the tournament. <laughs> Uh, nine churches once a year get together for this and we have a wonderful time of fellowship we call it a uh, reunion is what we call this what do you expect to see today uh, we have five black belts that are going to be receiving their uh, black belts today and then uh, we have the uh, folks that are going to be sparring around 40 matches that will be there and then we have some tremendous feats of demonstration which would be the uh, 20 bricks that the one fellow is going to attempt to break, and uh, boards on fire, and uh, we have a special surprise as well. It's really been a blessing to our family, too, because uh, uh, Pastor Dave has taught Joey uh, principles and things that we just uh, are really praising the Lord for. Uh, godliness with contentment, humility, uh, gratitude, uh, discipline, too, and those are things that you don't find in the classroom that are so important for a Christ-like foundation, and we just feel we're totally blessed uh, by Pastor Dave and uh, his ministry. I think God's really anointed him to work with these children. And today, it seems like uh, there's so much uh, attention that children are being distracted by negative visual imagery. And uh, it's wonderful to see my son Joseph really be attracted to this type of sport. I'm really grateful and thanking the Lord that he can teach him this type of sport with biblical principles. Um, if you would go and get it into a secular community, they do the emptying of your mind. And um, I'm really thankful that Reverend Pearson brings biblical principles and teaches him scripture along with, you know, the karate 
It's been a real inspiration for myself and a kid, something to do together as a family unit. Dave Pearson is an instructor. He's more of a friend than an instructor to us. It's not like a military type, GI Joe type of school. It's a loving, caring type of karate program. It's great. Uh, I tell the young people that it's not self-defense. Breaking bricks, no matter how many are there, or boards, self-defense is the, uh, the forms and the karate moves that you would learn. The breaking is a technique, and sometimes they don't all break, and uh, sometimes they do, and in, in it's a great uh, sense of accomplishment there. <laughs> Well, that was the tournament a couple of weeks ago. Dave Pearson is on the program with us right now. He is a karate instructor who has a fifth degree black belt, but he teaches uh, more than just karate, as you just heard, and today he's here to talk about uh, and show us uh, that rather unique ministry. Good to have you with us. Amen. Thank you. Thank you to be here. It's, uh, to be here. It, it's, it's almost, uh, to a lot of people, a contradiction in terms to see a karate expert, fifth degree black belt, sitting there with a Bible in his hand. Right, uh, right. Well, we, we tell the folks that there's more power in an open hand of friendship than a clenched fist. Mm -hmm. uh, karate is not designed to hurt people, it's designed to protect them. And that's the idea that we have. We don't have any, inter any meditation. We uh, put the Lord first and uh, we meditate on the scripture. And that's how uh, we do that. Now, is this the way you incorporate it into the classes? Because Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it, it, it becomes... It becomes a, a, a sense of preparation for life, preparing. What, what does karate do for a person who would, say, get to a, to a black belt? What would you like to see happen to that young person? We have uh, many uh, black belts. We have about 12 black belts in our school right now. And uh, we try to train them and put the scripture therein and that uh, they keep up their guard spiritually mm -hmm. against our adversary, the devil. And uh, the devil's out to deceive us. He's out to defile us. He's out to deaden us for the kill. And he's a roaring lion, uh, seeking whom he may devour. And so we uh, put the Bible verses in with the, the moves. And the uh, before you go to the next level, you have to learn a Bible verse yeah. uh, and incorporating the scripture. And uh, it's, it's worked out very well. Now, now Jerry, we want to give you a black belt as well. This is from our right. school. Thank you. It's a keychain <laughs> black belt, but uh, now you're official black belt uh, there. Uh, well, that brings, and, up, uh, that brings <laughs> up a good point. I, I yes. hate to admit this, but I'm 52 years old. Yes. Um, could, I, could I do karate or would I break myself? <laughs> we have, uh, we have uh, doctors and we have professional people that are taking our to program. To take care of people like me. <laughs> We have, yes, and we have, um, we have people that uh, you would never think about. For a while there, I was teaching senior citizens in nursing homes, and our oldest You're student kidding. was 105 years old no. doing Come the punches on. and the kicks no. there, yeah. and uh, the nurses were looking out when they gave her the blood pressure, you know, like this here. But uh, we do put the Lord first, and uh, we name the school Masters Martial Arts Academy. We have nine locations in Chicago, hmm. pastors and their families and other children. Uh, well, and one pastor I know very well that yes. uh, if I mentioned his name, people would be very surprised. But, right. Uh, and uh, he's, he, he's got a green belt and he's coming right along. Right. He and his wife together. Yes, uh, uh, Dr. Schroeder is... Uh, Can you, okay, good. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I kept, I kept voting Dr. until finally he did it. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Thank Schroeder you. is my... Uh, Dr. Pastor, Bill Schroeder. Dr. Bill Schroeder. Who's and one he's of your a green students. belt and he was one of my students there. He and his uh, before, wife both. Yes, and they did a oh. duet uh, kata together, oh. which looked sharp, and uh, uh, he did real well. He, he breaks about three or four boards there also. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So. Now, so it's not just for young people. I mean, no. said any, anyone can, you, you think of the flexibility that you would have to have and so forth, but anyone could develop into uh, to at one of the belts. Right. Yeah. And uh, we... Uh, put the uh, the belt levels in there. The, uh, the the thing that you have to do is learn a form. After the form, then you uh, uh, do your uh, sparring experience, and that's how you advance in our karate system. You mentioned uh, families uh, coming in. Uh, do families get into this together? A whole family, and then uh, then we have brothers and sisters, moms and dads. The grandparents come too. Uh, the host. Uh, one particular location I'm thinking of is uh, in Bridgeview, and we have 45 students in one classroom uh, there, mm -hmm. and the pastor and his family, he made the announcement in church, just about the whole church shows up for karate really? class, You're and uh, we, we all uh, have karate there on uh, Tuesday night, but that's where we're at now with that one, mm -hmm. but um, it works out very well, and it gives you confidence, it gives you uh, security to know just in case 
if something should ever happen, you would be prepared for it. You think, I would imagine. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I would imagine too that it, it is a very good form of you staying fit, physical yes. fitness. You have to have great flexibility, mm -hmm. strength, a strength builder. We have a fellow that uh, broke. You saw the clip there of uh, 20 bricks at one time. He hit the uh, mm. bricks there and uh, different feats and like that. So you do have to be strong. And uh, I don't have the children, uh, kindergartners, breaking bricks, but uh, we do have uh, the adults do breaking competitions. We do weapons as well, the staff kata, nunchucks, and things like that. It looks dangerous. Is it? Is it not dangerous? No. We we there. If you had a full contact school, a lot of these tournaments, they have an ambulance outside the door mm. waiting for you. Uh, we've never had an ambulance uh, outside our doors, and uh, we we uh, keep it very low-key, no hype uh, as far as the, the pressure that comes across, and you pull it right before you hit uh, the other person. Now, is it easy to pull it? I mean, is it easy? <coughs> I mean, it, it, do you miss? I would say so, you know, and once you're trained, um, you learn control, right. which is very, very important, as they were saying. And, yeah. Um, that's one thing the Word of God teaches us, to um, self-control. Self-control. Yeah. What are some of the, what are some of the benefits? In our uh, karate school, we uh, make sure that we can share Christ with other people, and that's one of the that's the major benefit that I try to uh, do with our students. There it is to have them uh, be a witness for the Lord and uh, use this. And there's a Bible verse that I'm using. It's uh, John 3:30. He must increase, but I must decrease. And uh, we, it's easy in the black belt business to get a big head, you know, and uh, the the macho image. I think a lot of parents like what I do because of the lack of uh, machoism that I, I, I don't have the macho look that uh, yeah. a lot of people do. Well, we think, when we think of karate and the martial arts, we think of, uh, you know, the, the movie stars right. uh, and the martial arts movies that were incredibly violent. Mm -hmm. They don't pull the punches, they kill right. people. Right. Uh, and that's, I think, the, the image that comes to mind. You're sort of reshaping that image with a lot of young people. We don't have any of the, the aggressiveness that you would think of. And there are penalties in our school for aggression. If you hurt somebody, I can't teach you anymore kind of a thing. Hmm. But uh, we have uh, very controlled, as Christian, I can, I can uh, lay somebody down on the, on the ground without hurting them and then run away. And that's my motto in class, hmm. that we hmm. just do a quick move and then get out of there. Don't hang around for five more moves. Exactly. Yeah. Or you know, beat the guy up and then give him a gospel track to church. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, it doesn't go uh, he's like that. laying down and said, I could have done more, but, yeah. uh, you know, thank God I didn't, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it's just for the self-defense uh, part of it. There if, for if I came into your program, what would be the first thing that I would learn? That's a good question because uh, a lot of people don't know how to jump into a karate stance. Uh, they just stand there like this here, and uh, you, you jump into a karate stance. That's what stance. I would do. And uh, you uh, learn where the areas of your hand uh, will be able to strike with. Uh, karate means open hand. There's no mm. weapons. Mm. And so your hand now has become that instrument to be able to, to uh, protect yourself there. So I would teach you like that first. Well, what do you think, Shirley? Should I stick with golf and uh, barrel racing on my horse? <laughs> <laughs> um, not, yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe Probably. Uh, it sounds, it really does sound very interesting. It does. Now, we're going to find out more. First of all, I'd like to give a phone number if yes. people would be interested. The Masters Martial Arts Academy, 708-479-8566. The Masters Martial Arts Academy, 708-479-8566. And uh, that's, is that in Mokina or is that... Uh, I live in uh, the nice... But you go various yes. places to do this. Right, right? that's right. I have okay. nine locations in Chicago area. So if I a teach. church wanted to get together a group... That's it. Is that's that how we do that. The do? other thing we might mention now, too, is that your wife is actually a clown and yes. does clowning. And then so you Susie go out Q. and do, right. do kind yeah. of a, a program together. We uh, do evangelistic. Uh, one summer we did 40 churches in Chicago with the evangelistic part of the uh, right. program. Well, uh, we're going to get a demonstration. Right? All right. Uh, I, I guess I can leave my coat on to go over here because I'm going to watch. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, I'm not a target of anything, am I? Uh, why don't we just go on over okay. and uh, like to see what's happening here. Uh, you, tell us the stuff you've got and just kind of go through the okay. I'll watch. Well, uh, one of the first things, Jerry, that I would uh, show you in class, once you step right over here, uh, we use these blockers. Maybe I better take my coat yeah. off. This sounds like it's <laughs> right. And uh, these blockers are here, and we use these for eye-hand coordination. And uh, when you use these, uh, I'm going to try to aim right there at your head. So you've got to block. You've got to go like this here, okay. and then and then like this here to be able to block this. <laughs> so we'll go right. slow at first here, okay? Please, block please. over here. Good. Okay, block right. here. All right. 
Here we go. Like this. Hey, I'm ready. I Both. am. <laughs> <laughs> Good. See? You did good. <laughs> I, I hand coordination. That's how we would do that Is there. That okay? So that's how that would work. And uh, we use these for the... Uh, you know, nobody's arm is lo that long. It's not realistic, and nobody's fist is that big around. Yeah. But we do uh, use this as a training tool. And then uh, I've got this here bag, and uh, this is an electrical bag. And when you hit it, it tells you how hard you hit. Ah, so uh, you need to punch uh, straight there. That's a karate punch, mm -hmm. and you don't put your thumb on the inside. Don't. Uh, no, don't. Oh, okay. no, you'll be sorry. <laughs> yeah, <no>. And uh, <laughs> you uh, keep it straight here right. as you punch. So right there in the middle of the bag. And let's okay. see how you do now. Uh, Bob just, Murphy, just a, Bob okay. Murphin did this uh, on morning clock. How, don't tell me how much. All right, I'll wait until we're done here. No. All right. Maybe you shouldn't tell it at all after I hit this thing. All right. All right. All right in so the middle. what I do now is you can think yell out beyond too. it, right? Yeah. Yell out. You can yell out. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yell out. Yeah. 80 pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was good. Whisper to me what Bob Murphy did. 73. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 73. All right. All right. But, if it had been 100, I wouldn't have said it. Let's exactly. see what Huntley can do on this uh -oh. thing here. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Do, oh, do a goodness. punch right in the middle. Whoa. 101. Oh. 101. Can I try one more time? All right. <laughs> <laughs> this okay. Now. Well, what did you do, Huntley? Like this? Yeah. Uh, I came from here. Back and you here. get no, no, this foot. Yeah. And you get I, mean, I get right? You That's get, right. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. That was less. <laughs> that was five 50. more pounds than was you did before. Oh. Eighty-five. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. Eighty-five right. pounds. I think I hurt my wrist. <laughs> All right. right. Well, okay. I've got. Uh, we we train with these, and uh, these are rubber nunchucks. I'll just show you quickly here how this goes, and I uh, do two at the same time. All right, that's how that works with this. It's also and uh, the it's also a massage. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Now I've got uh, this carrot here, and I'm going to put this on a volunteer's. Uh, maybe one of the children would like to come up here. Uh, let me use this young man right here. All right, what's your name? John. John, come over here. Give me a handshake. All right, I always like to shake the hands of people that I hit. There we go. <laughs> Right here, put this in your mouth, John. Whoa, All right, put John. your hands back here, You're just a brave in case. Guy. Now this isn't rubber; these are for real now. Okay, John. I tell you what, let's let them see the look on your face. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now you hold still, face this way right here. Hold your, up a little bit. Don't there move, John. All right, Please, here we John, go. Don't Ready? Move. I'm gonna come down with the nunchucks. Hey, let's get Whoa. John a hand. <laughs> yeah, keep going, John. <laughs> How about another volunteer? Let's see here. I could break that. <laughs> How about, How about um, let's see, this, this little girl, this girl right here? Yes, ma'am, come on up here. All right. We have a banana here, and what's your name? Carrie. This is Carrie. Carrie, I want you to get on your hands and knees right here. Atta girl, hold still now. I'm going to put this banana right there on your Whoa. neck. All right? Whoa. Hey, here we go. Whoa. Now. Uh -oh. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Carrie, you see this? All right. <laughs> now, Carrie, if you died right now, would you go to heaven? All right, just, just you got to ask this right about here. All right, let's see here. Real careful, all right? Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Let's give her a hand. Good all job. Right. All right, thank you, Carrie. Good. <laughs> All right, we talk about the uh, scripture as being the weapon. Uh, it's the only weapon that gets sharper with use. And you use it and you memorize it and hide it in God's, uh, in your heart. There you'll be able to fight against the devil. Now, we're going to have um, Huntley try to break this uh, board here. And uh, we got a regular size board here. I don't want to slip on the banana. Uh, Should we break this one first and then go on to this one? What do you think? Uh, let's right. see. Go ahead and try this Do first and uh, okay. be able to do that. Mm. All right. Good. That's a little practice right. there, a little warm-up. All right. Warm up. All right. We're going to have a couple of volunteers maybe to hold this if you'd okay. like to. Do you want me? Okay. Um, Any volunteers to hold it up in here? Sure. Okay, right here. Hold this here. No, let's see. You're going to hold it like this here? Okay. All right. Should I jump or should sure. I? Sure. If you want to do a straight punch, is that good? Okay, no, I'm going to kick it. Okay, Wait. go ahead and kick it there. Oh, All right, oh. let's give him a hand. Good job. All right. Good. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, Huntley, I want you to lay down here with your back on a table. All right? 
Nice. And we're going to have... Let's uh, have a word of prayer. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to put this apple right there All on right. his uh, stomach. And this is called the Gurkha knife that's here. And uh, we're going to oh use this goodness. in just a second here, warm up a little bit. All right? You don't use Hold that still. in the kitchen, do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Hold still. Here we go. All right, a little, a little bit deeper there, Huntley. A little bit deeper. Here we go. Let's give him a hand. Whoa. Good job. All right. Can I get a bait? That's, sure, there you go. Oh, okay. You, All right. you earned that one, Huntley. <laughs> okay, that's about it for the uh, demonstration there. I think uh, maybe I'll have a young person try a board themselves, and you get to take this home. All right, let what? me have... Uh, this little guy right here, there we go. Glenn right here? Yeah. Or Glenn, why don't you come up here quickly, and uh, this is my little guy. He's been uh, doing karate <laughs> before he was born, my wife said. He was kicking and punching there. <laughs> All right, now, he's a real orange belt now, and he's going to do a big yell and hit this thing. He's a lefty, so let's see how he does. Whoa, wow. yeah. Wow. Good. One of you guys uh, here. All right, let's have this fellow on the end. Come on over. Yes, sir. Here's a board specially for you. You get to take this home. All right. Janet, do you know how What's to... What's your name? David. David? That's a good name. That's my name, too. All right, make a tight fist here. All right, is this one you're going to hit with? All right, you're going to come straight down, right on it, just like this here. Really hard in the middle. If you want to yell out, that's fine, too. Okay, right there in the middle. Whoa! Hey, yes. Here you go. Here you go, Dave. Thank you very much. All right. All right, All that's, right. that's how the demonstration is there. Good. You know, the well, wonderful thing is, Jerry, uh, when I see, you know, the kids breaking the boards, I immediately think of your, your sins and uh, how Jesus came and he just broke, broke the chains of sin from off your life. Amen. And that when you turn your life over to him, he makes a difference. And that's why it's so exciting, you know, well, to be here with Dave. Well, you know, it, it's interesting. And I think, I think uh, uh, a lot of people watching perhaps have seen a, a different type a, a different have a different idea yes of, of what this is all about and that there are things like this that uh, almost that we can reclaim that we had uh, you know that we've given over to the world yeah uh, because most of the image uh, is of something that is violent mm -hmm. and something that obviously a Christian wouldn't partake of but right. would, wouldn't have anything to do with and yet here's something that uh, really has uh, th that you're sort of reclaiming for we have the about 200 students that are Christians they all get together and they punch and kick at each other and it's a blessing to see how even in this sport they can enjoy the fellowship of other believers and have a good time and uh, like uh, we're hearing about the uh, going through any difficulty that's there we talk about that and the youngster is having trouble in school, hey, if I can break that board, maybe I can focus more in my mathematics or more in my yeah. spelling or something like that. It has to do with, there. with discipline, yes. accomplishment, um, and, and uh, really a, a sense of, of, con uh, of confidence in not only yourself, but in your relationship with the Lord. That's it. And we put the, uh, incorporate the scripture there and make sure that uh, they know now, our main objective is to reach the neighborhood for the Lord yeah. and be able to let people know that uh, you uh, have to make sure, ultimately, if you're going to be having victory in your life by knowing the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. first. Now, we've got the number back up, and one of the yes. questions that I want to ask you, uh, you and your wife, could, could you step out here? Let's get a, let's get a shot of the, uh, of the other, other member of the family here. Uh, Susie Q? Yes, yeah, Susie Q Come is on my out here, uh, lovely wife there. <laughs> this is Susie Q. Let's get her right. hand. Okay. And, uh, yeah, come right on out here. Uh, come on out, Glenn. Come All right, this is my little girl, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. And uh, Dawn's taking karate. We're training her for when she dates. Oh. <laughs> That's right. a good idea. Could, all right. set when Could we uh, get Vanessa in this class, our, our and, uh, daughter? <laughs> she's uh, uh, four years old, and then Glenn is five. Uh, Glenn uh, participated this first time uh, in the tournament here. And he won his match, and we're really, really? proud of him hey, there. Congratulations, and, Glenn. Uh, we're proud of you. Uh, Dawn here, she's probably going to do it next year. All right. Yeah. Well, Dawn, you'll do good. I'm sure that you'll do very good. All right. Now, if if people were interested, you also go out and, and hold uh, evangelistic services yes. and ministries to... We do uh, the karate demonstration and clowning, to uh, both of us together. Uh, we do a, a, a summer camp. Uh, Northland Baptist Bible College has a camp during the summer, family camp, and we're a part of that as well during the summertime. Good, very good. Well, thanks for being with us. All Let's right. put the phone number up one more time if you'd like to contact them for uh, uh, an event or something that you would like to see. Uh, you can contact them and find out about it. All right, we have a station break. When we come back, we'll continue. Stay tuned.